Aaron Cantu here with Manny Robles the third ahead of your big WBA featherweight championship, man. How's it feel to finally be fighting in a championship fight? Uh, man, it's crazy, bro. It's a dream come true. It's something I've been working on my whole life, and it's finally here. I gotta take care. I gotta uh, take advantage of the opportunity, and and yeah, I'm ready to go. This coming Saturday. Cool, man. You're fighting a Xu Khan, a Chinese fighter. I actually saw one of his fights last December in Houston. And one thing I noticed about him is uh, he keeps coming. He throws out a lot of punches. How do you plan to uh, counter that, being, knowing that he, he has a lot of output? Oh, yeah. He has a, he's a high-volume puncher. But um, I just got to be keep him at a certain distance, man, because, he, you know, he's tall, he's lanky. So uh, I got to keep him at a certain distance and a lot of footwork, a lot of footwork for this upcoming fight. And me and my coach, Rudy Hernandez, have a good game, a good game plan coming into this fight. So you'll, you'll see it, uh, you'll see this come up this Saturday. Are, are you planning on setting traps for him and then countering on the inside oh, against this guy? Of course, yeah, of course. Uh, that, that's, that's part of the plan, yeah. The, because um, again, he's tall, he's lanky, so I kind of want to smother him a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, keep him at a certain distance. Because you know he's long, so if I, if, I, if, if I fight at his distance, he's going to get me in. He's going to get me every time. So, yeah, definitely. Good deal, man. You kind of uh, took notice. I took notice of you mainly when you knocked out Valerio because Valerio was a prospect coming up too that had a lot of promise. And then you stopped him, so that kind of put you on the map. Right. Um, from that point, how do you feel like you've progressed? Uh, I think I progressed a lot, man. Getting all these rounds in these these last few fights, and it's it's funny because the the last few fighters that I had are are kind of uh, similar to 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 Zhu Kan physically. Zukan, yeah. You know, they're tall, they're lanky, and um, they're high volume punchers. Like my the last guy, uh, Rigo Doncio, who was, was coming at me the whole all night. So yeah. I think that definitely uh, prepared me for this upcoming fight. Do you feel like those pressure fighters? You think that brings out the best in you? Uh, yeah, I think it has to. It has to bring out the best of me because uh, I gotta, I gotta let my hands go and um, and yeah. But uh, you know, I, I try to be patient and confident in there and, and you know let it, everything come on its own and and yeah. Um, um, man, you're fighting the world title and uh, <coughs> are you prepared to go the full distance? Like if you like if it goes the distance, you're prepared mm -hmm. as far oh, as the condition. Oh, definitely, man. Yeah, of course I'm prepared. You know, this is the biggest fight of my career. I've been working my butt off, and, and again, you know, well, my sparring partners have, you know, helped me tremendously. You know, I try to to, to, to spar with guys that are similar to Zukan, and, and that's really helped me prepare me for this fight. Now, yesterday I was at I was at your uh, gym, and you put a blanket on in the corner, and I was tripping yeah, out, asking, "Dad, what is he doing?" He says, uh, "Fighters, they put themselves through a lot of things that normal people don't know about." Can you talk about the demand that you have to put yourself in camp? No, yeah, it's just like a little sauna that helps me, keep, you know, opens up my pores and, and lets and has me sweat. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, I mean, other than that, I mean, you know, weight's been good, the diet's been good, the you know, the meal prep. So that that's helped me. That's definitely helped me, you know, for this fight. Hey, um, Manny, last question. Uh, oh, if you had to tell you something, if you had to tell yourself something right now that you want your Post fight self to know what would you tell yourself for this you know this for this fight, fight yeah oh man just uh, you know just remember you know again you know how long I've been doing this before man for you know since I was a baby and you know your opportunity is here your the opportunity of a lifetime to fight for a world title something you've been dreaming about you know since can't even remember and uh, yeah I got to take advantage of this moment because you know I'm, you might not know if this this opportunity will ever come again. So yeah, I'll just be telling myself that, man, and leave it all, leave it all out there, and give it a hundred percent. Let's go, Manny. Yeah. All right, Manny. Last thing, uh, uh, what's your take on this big uh, rematch between your boy Andy uh, Ruiz and Anthony Joshua? What is the keys of the fight? Break down this rematch. I think he has to come out. I think Andy has to come out. You know, like he did in, in the last fight. You know, cut, like uh, what ended on the seventh round of the last yeah. fight. Yeah, I think he has to come out like if it was the eighth of the. You know, this. You know, he has to come out strong and, and keep uh, Joshua on his toes. You know, and, and I think he has to attack. He has to be the first one to attack. He's got to be first. Yeah, he's got to be first. See, so you know what's crazy is a lot of people think that Joshua has to stay on the outside and be on his bike the whole fight. He's a guy who's always been muscling guys yeah, out of there. Definitely. So against uh, Ruiz, weird, yeah. isn't that crazy how the, the role has switched? Yeah, it's just the... Uh... <coughs>
Ruiz's hand speed is, is crazy for a heavy, you know, for being a heavyweight, and you know him physically looking at him, you will never expect that. So, but yeah, he's, he's a good fighter, man. He's slick. He, he has great hand speed for a heavyweight, and and, um, and he could crack. And that's one thing that Joshua has to be care, you know, cautious of. Obviously, you know, he knows now because of the last fight. You know, uh, 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 you know, he Ruiz knocked him out. So, uh, but yeah, I think he has to be. He's gonna be a little bit more cautious. Yeah, but. Again, I think Ruiz is going to come out there and, and he's got to attack. He's got to be first. You think uh, Andy Ruiz has the quickest hands in the heavyweight division? That's a good question. I, I think so. He threw a nine punch combination yeah. in under two seconds. <laughs> yeah, he, I timed he, it. He, he, yeah, he has the fastest hands for sure. I think uh, Andy does. I mean, it's Tyson Fury has pretty fast hands too. Yeah. And he's. And, uh, uh, that's one that's fight that yeah, that would be a good matchup. Yeah, oh, yeah. but that'll be that'll be pretty difficult for for Andy because um, Tyson is a slick fighter. He has good hand speed. He's a good boxer, and they and uh, they're it's they're kind of similar in a way. It's just that Tyson has you know the height and reach advantage, so it'll be a pretty dangerous fight. It would be man.